It's been a long road for Alice Tall. I'm telling you, I'm very emotional right now. Oh, yeah, I know. It's hard to be back yeah. here, I think, right? I know, it is. I had um, stage four lymphoma. Armed with her white lantern, this stage cancer survivor knows how to yeah, fight. I, I remember you. You took care of me. Oh, how are you? I'm I'm so happy to see you. You look great. There are many White Lanterns here tonight. Their army of supporters in red, a feeling of community. It means you're not going through this journey alone. We kind of have a special bond because we know what pain means. We know some of the heartaches and emotions. These are your friends, your family, the people you work with every day. So seeing those faces, th this really helps drive home. This is where my money goes. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society does the fundraising. Part of that money finds its way to this floor. Here's the rest of the white one. Okay. It really pulls the rug from under you. Your life changes drastically in a matter of days to weeks. And so those conversations are difficult. It's a team effort. And I think the more we talk about cancer, the more we normalize cancer, then I think it's going to be a lot easier. I think cancer is a badge of honor. Not everyone gets to experience what we experienced. A badge she wears proudly while helping others on their journey through treatment. She has been there. She knows cancer cannot silence courage. It cannot conquer the spirit. It can never shatter hope for me. Hope. That is her gift to others. And I think that's the thing. Hope is very important. When you have hope, anything is possible. In Seattle, Greg Copeland, King 5 News.